James Buchanan was the 15th president of America and the only bachelor to ever serve in the White House. An ineffective president, he failed to find a compromise to keep the South from seceding and the Union broke apart. James Buchanan was born in a log cabin on April 23, 1791, in Cove Gap, near Mercersburg, Pennsylvania. He was the son of Irish immigrants. He died on June 1, 1868, in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. The career of James Buchanan included the roles of lawyer, soldier, politician, and statesman. He received a good education and graduated from Dickinson College. He became the 15th President of America in 1857 and served for four years until 1861. James Buchanan was never married. His fiancée, Anne Carolyn Coleman, broke off their engagement and died a week later. Buchanan was the only bachelor to be president, and his niece, Harriet Lane, fulfilled the role of hostess at the White House. James Buchanan belonged to the Democrat political party. He was 65 years old when he was inaugurated as the 15th president. Inauguration is a president's swearing-in ceremony. John C. Breckinridge stood as the vice president. James Buchanan was the last pre-Civil War president. James Buchanan was an imposing figure with broad shoulders and stood at six feet in height. He had gray hair and a fair complexion. He had an unusual eye disorder in which one eye was nearsighted and then the other eye was farsighted. To try to compensate, he developed the habit of cocking his head to one side and closing one eye. James Buchanan supported Abraham Lincoln throughout the Civil War and served in the War of 1812 in a band of volunteers who marched to the defense of Baltimore against the British. His nicknames were Old Buck and Ten Cent Jimmy, due to his claim that ten cents a day was enough for a working man to live on. During his lifetime, he played a key role in major events of the era. During his presidency, John Brown seized the town of Harper's Ferry in Virginia in a futile attempt to spark an uprising of slaves. He was captured by Robert E. Lee and hung in 1859. The southern states began secession in 1860, and the Confederate states were created in 1861. On a less somber note, the Pony Express was established in 1860. During his life, James Buchanan suffered from rheumatic gout, an eye disorder, and alcoholism. Gout is a disease that is caused by excess buildup of uric acids in the joints. Gout was a major health concern in the 1800s and primarily brought on by high-fat diets and consuming too much meat. It was dubbed the disease of King's or rich man's disease. James Buchanan died of respiratory failure on June 1, 1868, in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. His funeral procession consisted of over 20,000 people. He is buried at Woodward Hill Cemetery. So ends our short biography about the life and presidency of James Buchanan, whose presidency saw the Union break apart. The next U.S. president was Abraham Lincoln.